Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be experimenting with flower painting again. You can see here that I've um, roughly drawn out my passion flower and a bit of foliage and I have used masking fluid to mask out the flower itself. Um, so I've used a photograph from Pixabay. Um, the link to that will be in the description below if you're interested in taking a look. I have um, simplified it. There was more than one flower in the photograph, but I'm just focusing on the one flower. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold press paper. It's taped to my board and my board is flat at the moment um, so that I can get the water and a nice pale wash to start with where I want it without it running down. Um, this is a large mop brush and I'm putting on lemon yellow to start with, having sprayed the paper lightly with a water mister and um, that gives me a different application of water so that I get these really washy uh, pale very diffused um, watery marks that will soften back and lighten up and so as well as the lemon yellow I'm using sap green and a bit of perylene green and I'm going to be leaving some areas unpainted and putting this lovely sort of washy mixture um, more green towards the bottom where the flower will be in shadow and more yellow and bright where the sun is hitting the flower from above. So just keeping it really washy, letting the water run. Now lifting my board up to 45 degrees, you can see that the paint immediately begins to run down um, and that gives me some interesting effects. It's dried off a little bit and now I'm going to put in just some rough um, marks to represent stems and leaves and tendrils and offshoots um, coming across. I'm trying to keep this quite sort of abstract and loose, um, so just making suggestions rather than overtly painting something in detail, although my flower itself will be more detailed than the rest. If I get any paint pooling up across the top of my masking fluid covered flower, I can use a clean damp brush and just mop it up. This is a nice dark mixture of the perylene green flicked into the damp paper and it will diffuse and soften. You can see that I'm, my board is flat again, so I keep moving between flat and 45 degrees according to how I want the paint to move, whether I want it to sort of move out evenly, in which case I'll have it flat, but if I want it to run like I do here, I've raised it again and it's at 45 degrees. So I'm building up my washy wash again, keeping on sort of spraying and adding paint, just sticking with these three colours. I'm not a very experienced flower painter, so I'm afraid I can't really tell you too much about technique here. All I can do is kind of let you know roughly what my approach is as I experiment. I usually go into an experiment like this thinking, well, I've got nothing to lose. Um, if it all goes wrong, I will learn something from it. So now here you can see I'm trying to get in some nice darks before I leave it to completely dry doesn't matter if I go over my flower because my flower is protected um, with the masking fluid. So I'm getting some nice dark marks underneath, but I don't want too much detail there. So I'll probably spray that with a water spray again in a bit. And using the corner of a plastic card, I can sort of etch through some lighter stems and maybe sort of indications of leaves and foliage, that sort of thing. Something and nothing. And now for the last thing in this first wash, um, where I haven't masked the flower out in the centre, I'm putting in a bit of the lemon yellow uh, because the centre of this passion flower is yellow. Now leaving it to dry. Now, once it had dried, I decided to go in again with another layer of foliage and another layer of dark 
um, wet in wet, painted in freshly around the flower at the base um, and getting in some of the sort of faint, paler indications and suggestions of um, leaves going up off the top of the page. For this I'm using um, a small synthetic round brush, it's a Polina Bright, but any small round brush will do. And then putting in some lovely um, lemon yellow spatter, which is going into those washy darks as well and enriching them, making them look a lot more vibrant. This is a Pro Art Sword Liner brush and I'm using it again to establish a few more of these tendrils and stems um, just here and there and some little curly tendrils coming off from the stems um, as passion flowers are sort of climbing plants and they send off these really attractive spirals um, off and it helps them to sort of climb and clamber over other plants. And so I think that's the bulk of the background done. I'm just going to spatter in a few darks, so this lovely perylene green, into the damp page. It will diffuse and soften, but still uh, maintain its darkness just across the bottom. And then I shall leave it to dry completely and come back and work on the flower. So now that it's dry, just before I remove the masking fluid from the flower, um, I'm just going to um, put in a little bit of permanent magenta and a sort of violet colour mixed up from that and some ultramarine blue um, to put in some pale marks um, where I have left the masking fluid quite streaky. So I should be able to get some of these markings for the passion flower in um, onto the unmasked paper. And so that should help to give me layers. Once I've removed my masking fluid, um, I shall be able to add to those layers and I just think it'll add a little bit of extra detail and complexity. So there's two sort of circles of these markings, the first one in this um, permanent magenta and the second one in the mixture of permanent magenta with some ultramarine blue. So I was going to leave it to dry at that point, but I decided I needed some more of these indications of um, stems and foliage tendrils, etc, etc. So while I've still got the masking fluid on the flower and it's protected, then I can make sure if I go over the flower, um, it's protected by the masking fluid. And when I remove it, those stems will look like they're sort of behind the flower, if you see what I mean. Um, and that's the thing about experimenting. Be prepared to have ideas and try them out as you go. Um, sometimes it will work, other times it won't. And here we are with the mop brush, another idea just to try and put in a sort of a glaze onto the dry um, background, um, just to give me some suggestions of foliage in the shadows um, below the flower. And then a bit of spatter of that dark purple colour, um, just to add a bit more complexity and depth around the flower itself. Now I've got the purple into the flower, um, I'm getting a feeling of what I need to balance that out. And now I've just got to make sure everything dries completely and I wipe off the masking fluid to make sure there's no um, damp paint on there so that when it's completely dry, um, I can remove it. And here it is with the masking fluid removed. My board's back up at 45 degrees and I'm going to go in and continue work on the flower, putting in a few more of those markings um, using the permanent magenta for the central ones and then moving on to the permanent magenta mixed with ultramarine blue for the outer ring. For this I'm going to use my small calligraphy brush because it's got a nice fine point and so I can just flick up into the white petals um, some of this colour and just um, extend out the patterning and the detail on this flower to draw the eye. And now for the final details, um, I'm just going to put in the very distinctive stamens which are come out sort of raised from the centre of 
the passion flower, making it look like such an intriguing and interesting plant. This is a mixture of perylene green, um, permanent magenta and ultramarine blue. It gives me this lovely dark and really helps to finish the flower off, I think. So the final thing is to go around and tidy up the flower and um, paint in around the base of the petals with my perylene green and that gives me that nice dark colour um, and I can sort of sweep that out a bit, blend it into the dark that's already there, but it helps the flower to really pop forward. And then I can do exactly the same with my lemon yellow um, across the top. Um, and just darken up the background a little bit and you can see how straight away those petals at the top are now popping out and the flower is coming forward from the background. So this sort of negative painting at the end has really helped to um, make the flower pop. Now this is a very, very watery mixture of ultramarine blue and I'm just putting that across these outer petals and that will make the white centre stand out even more and I'm finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, watching that experimental um, passion flower painting. Um, I really enjoyed painting it. I've learned a lot and even though it's not really how I saw it in my mind's eye, I'm still quite pleased with the way it, it's looking. And hopefully next time I'll be able to take my flower painting even further with what I've learned from this one. So thanks so much for watching. Um, please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to my wonderful Patreon group who support this channel. And I'll see you again soon. And happy painting. Bye.